So in this video, I'll be guiding you on how to edit a ticket on Follow POS, but with a closer in-depth look at all the full functionalities. So let's just dive in. And just like the previous videos, don't forget that you have complete control of this video, meaning that you can stop, rewind, fast forward all you like, go to a parallel universe or just jump ship. Uh, yeah, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You are in control of this video. So our case scenario in this course that we made um, is that we made a mistake on a ticket that we recently wrote and want to modify it. So in general, in general terms, we simply want to edit the ticket. And in order to edit the ticket on Follow POS, we click on the Edit Ticket button on the main menu. And from here, we are able to search by account, ticket, name. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just type in partially part of the name, so Francisca. Uh, and that'll filter out all the tickets down below for actually three specific people um, that also have the name Francisco. So Francisco Test, Francisco Vivaldi, and Francisco Peterson. So um, usually it's filtered out by the ticket in ascending order. So this is the ticket number, the account number, the name. If the customer is a delivery customer, uh, the route number will be shown up down, down here. The quantity of items within a certain ticket itself. Uh, the dollar amount um, for the ticket pertaining and the um, dollar amount if they paid in full or partially in a prepayment. So down here below we have a $2 done prepayment for the total $3.50. Um, whereas these actually are paid in full usually. Be and I can tell because of the status. So uh, P is for picked up. So fifteen ninety five for the full fifteen ninety five. So they paid in full. And speaking about um, statuses. So we have the I for in process, P for picked up, R for ready. Uh, and down here below, we have a void at ticket. So we have the date in, date out, a couple of tags. And over here, we have the location. So we assign a location on a certain ticket. It will show here on the right uh, in terms of their number. So usually the assigned location means that they mark tickets ready in the assigned location. And usually it pertains to normally tickets that are ready to be picked up. Uh, whereas in this case, it's already been picked up and it still locates the, the, the item. Uh, so also we can select the certain range um, of tickets that we want to be displayed by using the use button. So we can select the range. So let's get all the tickets that are from December the 1st all the way till now. So we click on search and that will filter out even just the latest one. Or heck, even we can just do... Uh, uh, how do I go about this? Uh, no records were found, meaning I, just, I was just searching for them the previous day, how many how many tickets were uh, written for Francisque um, during these days. But as we can see, none. So let's just go back, click on search. So at any time, you can highlight a ticket and check the ticket history by, you know, highlighting and then click on ticket history. From here, you can see everything from the every single modification that has ever been done by, uh, and so it'll record a certain user at any, any, any station, and it'll actually show up a little description. So Right here, we show that we've written the ticket, a sign location, and the ticket was picked up. Um, so, yeah, we don't really want to do this. We want to actually edit the ticket. So let's click on close here. Uh, another thing is that we can change the status on certain tickets. So if we highlight another uh, ticket, we can change the status, and you can see how it uh, changes. So I, R, P, B, N, D, and then I. So again, we could also avoid the ticket. So if you, at any case, you want to avoid, at any case in time, you want to avoid the ticket, you can click on void and it'll actually give you a reminder saying, would you like to avoid this ticket? And we'll give you the, the ticket number. We want to say yes. And that will automatically avoid the ticket and it'll actually add a, a date out actually. So another thing that we want to do, uh, which is, uh, which is kind of cool, is that at any time we could edit the customer. So we we click on certain customer, click on edit. We can make any any quick changes, then click save, and then go back to the search if you want to. But actually, let's just go ahead and, and edit. So we'll click on the last one. We'll do a couple of changes. For me, we could always change the status. So we do in process, change the status to ready, to picked up, to void, to declined, to delivered, and back to in process. So we can just toggle through it. Again, we could also avoid, but... Um, you, you can do this and most likely you would get that notification saying that you if you want to avoid the ticket um, right now. But it can be kind of tedious, especially if you're doing multiple uh, tickets all at once. So I would recommend you go back to the search button and search box and then highlighting just like I showed you like a minute ago. 
highlighting and then um, deleting them, um, avoiding them uh, manually. So from here, we could actually add more items items of our liking. We can remove lines, change prices, change quantity, and add all the upcharges we'd really like. So I'll just go ahead and make some some changes right now. We could actually, I'm just gonna delete this line. Um, and then once we're done, you know, uh, we could either save and then close, or we can just go ahead and save and print. So that's the that's the other thing. If we want to go ahead and make some um, pickup, uh, we can edit delivery date. We can add deposits, uh, add prepayments, um, add coupons, as well as add a direct payments if we want to. Once we're all done, we can go ahead and print the ticket or click on save and close, which is what I'll be doing right now. So that leads us back to the main menu, and that is how you edit a ticket. Okay, so thank you for watching and be sure to continue with our series of in-depth tutorial videos continuing with assigning location and marking tickets ready, which is what I'll be doing next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.